mark two years since the collapse of Lehman Brothers. But despite the swift recovery from that point, concerns still linger about the strength of the global rebound. The US government will release quarter two GDP data and revised data for the past three years. It will also throw up some clues on where the US economy stands right now. So naturally, all eyes are going to be on the report. The start today will be slightly soft as has been the case lately. The US and European stocks closed in the red. Asian markets are mostly down. But FNO rollover points out for a better August for bulls following a lackluster July. The NSC Nifty may finally test 5,500 in August, but we're not ruling out a minor correction either. The Nifty may remain range-bound between the range of 5,370 to 5,430 today. Talking of economic data, the latest Japanese reports are mixed. A couple of reports from Europe are encouraging, but UK consumer confidence is down. Back home, the overall picture looks good and could get brighter with improved monsoon showers. Food inflation slipped below 10% mid-July, but we have to see whether it stays or climbs back into double digits. The core sector growth softened in June, which is a bit of worry as the previous IIP report was also disappointing. The other news for the day is wholesale food inflation fell sharply to 9.67% for the week ended 17th July, primarily on account of high base effect. The Revenue Department has notified imposition of definitive anti-dumping duty on imported viscose staple fibre, excluding bamboo fibre from China and Indonesia. India has slipped to fifth position in global steel production with a 32.5 million tonne output in the first half of this year. DLF may raise rupees 25 billion via sale of non-core assets. Sun Pharma wins over Ellie Lilly in a patent litigation over Gemzar, a drug used in cancer treatment with a US federal court ruling in its favor. Access Bank is likely to raise deposit rates shortly. JSW Steel plans to begin construction of its 10 MTPA steel plant at Salboni in West Bengal before end of this fiscal. Apollo Tires is investing 6.6 million euro in a unit in the Netherlands to enhance plant capacity to 6 million tires a year from 5.1 million tires. HCL Infosystems has backed a 400 million rupees order to digitize the data generated from the Census of India project. Moving on to the recommendations, the technical calls are a buy on Hindalco. We would recommend buy the stock above levels of rupees 162.5 with a stop loss at rupees 159.5 for a target price of Rs. 168.5 and a buy on Jayashree T. Traders are advised to buy the stock above levels of Rs. 313 for a target price of Rs. 329 and a stop loss is replaced at Rs. 306. The derivative strategies are short ICICI Bank August future in the range of Rs. 918 to 920 for a target price of Rs. 898 and a stop loss is replaced at Rs. 928. And long Ruchi Soya August future in the range of rupees 102 to rupees 103 for a target price of rupees 108 and a stop loss is replaced at rupees 99. Thank you and have a great day ahead.